It's time for the Family Feud. Introducing the Bedeker family. Helen, Fred, Terry, Gary, and Elaine, ready for action. And the Zaitsov family. Vern, Missy, Bill, Susan, and Jim, on your marks. Let's start the Family Feud. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. Save some applause for the pyramid. That follows us, and we thank you and welcome. Got a great show here. This is a show where two families come on, fight it out, and the winner goes for a lot of money. Here's a family who's done it three days in a row. They're our winning family, the Bedeker. Oh. You're excited and happy? Yes, very. It won $11,454. Isn't that exciting? It's beautiful. Just remind me of the relationship of the people with you. My son, my daughter, my son-in-law, and his mother. Okay. You didn't lose your voice shouting yesterday with all of that. <laughs> Do I sound Well, you were rather quiet faint? there. We <laughs> like to have you all kind of fret. You were deposed. You didn't go I for was. the fast yeah, money, yeah, did I, you? No. But you went the first time you won. You didn't feel badly, did you? Not at all. They won so Not easily. Terry, you did Hi, a great Richard. first first person there in Thank the fast you. money. Thank you. And then Huckleberry Dillinger <laughs> came through here, <laughs> yelled out, and went, oh! My eardrums went. And lovely Elaine, you'll soon have enough money from me oh, to I go will. with you. Away we go. To the desert. Tijuana. Okay. Here's the family. I hope they're going to stop you doing that. Say hello to the Zotsoff. Good for you today, Vern. Wish you luck. Thank you. Thank you. Remind me now of the relationship that you my brought wife along. And my two brothers in law and my sister in law. Okay. And you're a lawyer. Yeah. We learned that yesterday. And you're married to this pretty lady, Missy. Thank you. And you have two children? Two children. A boy and a girl. Boy, a girl and a boy. Or a girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Okay. Uh, you've got billing orders here. How yeah. old is the little boy? He's uh, almost two. And the little girl? She's four. Well, of course, then you've got to say girl and boy. Absolutely. And this happy, cheerful gentleman My is a, he's your brother, and he's a police officer, aren't you? Right. Deputy Sheriff here in L.A. Don't you smile ever, Bill? <laughs> um, you know you too well. Me. Well, not me, but I mean, America <laughs> wants to see that smile. I'm trying. <laughs> now, this is your wife, I know, That's Sue. That's right. She'll smile. You see, he's not, he's not that grim at home, is oh, yes. he? Yes, he is. How can he win a pretty girl he's like He's happy you? tonight. Is he really? <laughs> yes. Oh, oh I'm going to move on here. Don't forget, everybody, speak up. We've got to hear you. Jim, nice to meet how you. are you? What do you do, Jim? I'm a playground director for the city schools and also sort of a longtime college student. Well, that's good. You work with children. That's oh. good. I wish both families the best of luck. Heads of families, join me for space. Here we go. That's the kiss of death when she shakes your hand. <laughs> They've been the third time now the winning family. You know how it works, Vern, that we take a survey, 100 people. Top seven answers are on the board there in order of popularity to this question. Name a film Marlon Brando has played. Helen. On the waterfront. Show me on the waterfront. Oh. There it is. Third most popular answer. Ten people said it. Vern. Streetcar Named Desire. A Streetcar Named Desire. Let me see it. There it is. Five people said that. Five and ten mean $15 in the bank. Helen, you control that bank. You know how you build it up by revealing the remaining answers. If you leave any out at all, Vern can steal the bank by identifying one answer. But as you control the bank, you know you do not have to play it. You can play or you can pass. What do you want to do? Talk pass, Mom, pass. pass. We want to pass. You want to pass. All right, they're going to pass. We'll see if the strategy works here. Pretty Missy, I need a film that Marlon Brando has played in. Missouri Breaks. Missouri Breaks. Yes. Also, also, eardrum breaks on sound engineer if you lean in. No, that's nice okay. and loud. We'll see. Jack Nicholson, Missouri Breaks. There it is. Oh, good job, Missy. Did you like that? Yes. Good. You're going to have to lean in. She's so sweet, she wants to make sure everybody hears it. Bill? Right. <coughs> Film that Marlon Brando played in. The Godfather. <gasps> Good answer. Yeah, right. The Godfather. Yeah. There it is. Oh. The most popular answer. 56 people said it. There are $73 in the bank. You passed this, didn't you, Vatican? Mm -hmm. Shame, shame. It looks like they're doing well. Susan, 
a movie that Marlon Brando's played in. Last Tango in Paris. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Last Tango in Paris? Oh, yeah. Yeah. 17 people out of our 100 said that. They're all on Weight Watchers, $90. Jim. Gosh. Uh, Burn. Pardon? Burn. Burn. Yes, he made a film called Burn. We'll see if it made our survey. Burn. It did not. That's the first strike. Now, two more strikes. I'll have a chance to steal two answers remaining. Burn a picture that Marlon Brando has played in. Mutiny on the Bounty. <gasps> Good boy. Mutiny on the chance. Bounty. Show me Mutiny on the Bounty. $96. One more correct answer, and Baedekers, you're going to be challenged right here. Missy, a movie that Marlon Brando has played in. Three seconds, Alan. Mm -mm. I don't think he ever made a film called mm -mm. <laughs> That's two strikes. One more strike, and they're going to get a chance to steal it. Bill, name a film that Marlon Brando has played in. Three seconds. Don't have an answer? Here's your chance. You can Cyanide. steal it right now. Cyanide. Ugly American. Ugly American. Helen, you ready? Ugly American. All right. If the ugly American is on that board, and I heard other answers yes, given, but if ugly too. American is on the board, you will steal the bank. If not, the Zaitsoff family will keep that money. Show me the ugly American. sweep there and you saw what happened they said sayonara they could have gone either way you have ninety six dollars you do not have anything at the moment and Zaitsov family it is important to get on the board why because the first family that gets two hundred dollars wins the game and gets a chance as our family the Baedekers have done three times to go for five thousand dollars we will return right after this Sleep-deprived zombies. New episodes of Cram. Coincidence? An all-new episode of Cram tonight at 10.30 Eastern and Pacific. Some things you don't want getting out, like your secret crush or your period. Kotex introduces the Leak Lock System, a new dual-layer design. You feel protected, more secure. Kotex fits, period. <laughs> Round-the-clock claim service in case this happens in a car. GEICO, a 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. GEICO Auto Insurance, how may I help you? Hello? Hello? Need another way to talk to GEICO? Check out GEICO.com. In 15 minutes, you could save 15% or more on car insurance. Hello? Shaking up the world of reality TV, Chuck Woolery naturally stoned Sunday nights at 9.30 on Game Show Network. Brought to you from the makers of Imodium Advanced Caplet. What a relief. Don't move, Dad! Smile and say mermaid. Mermaid. <laughs> Where will you be when your diarrhea comes back? You should have taken Imodium AD the first time. Don't wait till it's too late. Uh, back here at the family feud. Uh, we got a real race going, you know what I mean? Uh, we got the Baedekers, 96 dollars. Right off nothing, but Missy, you can change it. Come up here, represent the family. Right? Right. 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 You can change it all right now, Missy. 100 people we surveyed, the top five answers are on that board to this question. Name something padded. Fred. A bra. <laughs> Show me bra. <laughs> See the toughness of the hand right there. The number one answer, there's no way you can beat that. 58 people, the most popular answer. And there are certainly 58 addresses that we don't need. $58 <laughs> in the bank. Are you going to play or are you going to pass? Pass. 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 pass? pass. We're going to pass. We're going to pass. All right. Well, off we go. Rejoin our families. And now, I shouldn't ask this of a police officer, but I will. Name something padded. Bill. Expense account. Aha. Uh -huh. 
This boy knows all the angles, doesn't he? Show me expense account. Oh, oh. did not oh. make our top five answers, and that's a strike. Susan. Padded cell. A padded <laughs> cell. Show me a padded cell. Woo! Good girl. Second most popular answer. Twelve people said that and seventy dollars in the bank. Jim, something padded, please. Hmm. I'd say a helmet. A helmet. <laughs> A football helmet? Yes, I can do. Show me a helmet. Oh, dear. Two strikes there. Three answers remaining. Burn, I need something padded. Three seconds. Football. A football protector, he said. Just on the buzzer. Let's take a look. Football protector. Oh, oh, $75 there. Missy, two strikes against you now. I need something padded. Let's have a girdle to go along with the bra. A padded girdle? You've been shopping in Hollywood. Show me a padded <laughs> girdle. Uh, Here's your chance, Betty, because you can do it. Okay, Talk it um, over. Baseball glove, uh, chair, padded chair. Chair, I'd chair. I need an answer, Helen. A chair, my team a says. chair. All right, it's a little bizarre, but if chair is there, you will steal that bank. If it is not there, however, the Zaitsev family will be in this game. Show me a chair. <laughs> Can't believe that at all, right? Let's see what the other oh. one was. Show us number five, please. Magic. Oh, yeah. oh, yes, they say. 171 for the Baedekers. The challenging family, the Zeitz up. Nothing. But we'll see if that changes when we return. Hi, I'm Lindsay Wagner. You know, in juggling a full family life and a career, believe me, I know how important it is to get a good night's sleep. Not long ago, I discovered the Sleep Number Bed by Select Comfort. It's a wonderful way to get the deep recuperative sleep that we all need. The secret is the unique adjustable air chamber technology. On a sleep number bed, you adjust the comfort and firmness to your exact preference, your sleep number. I happen to be a 35. And unlike inner spring mattresses that can create uncomfortable pressure points, the sleep number bed contours to the unique curves of your body, providing better support. I highly recommend you call for this free video and brochure. It'll show you how the sleep number bed can improve your sleep. And this is the perfect bed for couples because both you and your sleep partner can each adjust the firmness independently to your own sleep number. I really love it because I'm not locked into a sleep number. I like to be able to adjust it depending on how my body feels every, every night when I go to bed. The sleep number bed is so comfortable that I really don't want to get out of bed in the morning. In clinical studies conducted at Stanford and Duke universities, participants fell asleep faster and experienced a better quality of sleep on a sleep number bed. It's the only bed I know of that's been clinically proven to improve sleep quality and relieve back pain. On the uh, sleep number bed, when we're lying on our back, the air supports the spine evenly. I mean, I was having severe back problems. Now I, j I just get a better night's sleep. Nothing else compares, and a sleep number bed costs about the same as a traditional inner spring mattress, yet it's twice as durable. So don't forget to call for this free video and brochure. The results are remarkable, and it's very comfortable. For your free, no obligation, sleep number bed information kit, call 1-800-547-9595. We'll rush you this video and brochure and price list, plus details about our risk-free 30-night trial. Call 1-800-547-9595. 1-800-547-9595. A sleep number bed is the key to a perfect night's sleep. Call now. Game Show Network is making interactive TV easy. Just watch and play. First, log on to gsn.com and register. Then tune into our interactive shows, log on to our website, and you're playing the game at home. That's right, you'll compete in real time with the show and other viewers online. And with 84 hours of play along every week, there's plenty of chances to show just how much you know. And did we mention we're giving away thousands of dollars in great prizes per week? You could win, but only if you play along. So log on to gsn.com to watch and play. We are at the moment of truth. Our winning family for three days in a row, going for the fourth, they hope. The Baedekers have $171. They are being challenged by the Zeitzel family who have nothing. Bill, come up here. You can change that. Perry, come up. 
This is the important question because this question and all questions from now on, the dollar values will be doubled. So you can get right back in the game here now. And you're just the man to do it, aren't you? I am. Has he ever lied to you before? I love policemen. <laughs> okay. Give me a lot of tickets. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, could you two fight on your own show, please? <laughs> We're ready to go. All dollar values are double. Our survey, the top four answers are there to this question. Name a famous statue. <laughs> Terry. Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty. Let my people go. Show me the Statue of Liberty. Right. 84 people said that. We double the value. $168. Three answers remaining. Terry, going to play or are you going to pass? Play. 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 We're going to play, Richard. They think they know it. All right, Bill, we'll see if the strategy works out. Rejoin your families. Gary, I need a famous statue. The Pieta. The Pieta. Oh, no. That's a famous one. We'll take a look. The Pieta. <laughs> just dropped in popularity i'm sorry to say that's one strike i haven't been near you for so long because you won't want to be i now. need one from you my <laughs> love a famous statue of land mm, uh, lincoln lincoln mm -hmm. memorial lincoln let me see <laughs> two out of our 100 said it and our 772 dollars helen a famous statue please two answers remaining the thinker the Thinker by Rodin. Let's take a look for The Thinker. Oh, oh, oh two strikes. Maybe this strategy's not gonna pay off. Fred, one more strike. They'll get a chance to steal. Give me an answer. A famous statue. I'm gonna say The Unknown Soldier. The Unknown Soldier. And with your luck, they will have named him. <laughs> Show me The Unknown Soldier. Here's your chance to get in the game. Venus, Talk Venus, it Venus or David? Or David. 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 Michelangelo's David. Michelangelo's oh. David. If Michelangelo's David is on that board, and I heard other answers, if it's there, you will be back in this game. $172. If it is not there, the Baedekers will be the winning family. Show me David. In a summer of blockbusters, GSN brings you the biggest one of all, all hosted by superstar reporter Sam Rubin. Join me for GSN's Summer Blockbuster Spectacular. Saturday, July 5th, starting at 9 p.m. on GSN. Somewhere between where you are and where you're going, there's a Super 8. See you along the way. My job, no matter what happens, the show must go on. So I took control with Depend Underwear. It goes on like regular underwear with the Depend protection I trust. All I have to worry about now is hitting the high notes. Take control with Depend. The leading cleaner can't remove this tough stain like Spot Shot. With Spot Shot, tough stains disappear fast without scrubbing. When Resolve won't work, get Spot Shot. You got to turn around going here. Susan, come up, represent your family. Gary, come on up. Here we go. The Dark Dog family had nothing at all. <laughs> They are now in the lead with 172. Our winning family, the Baedekers, have 171. This will be it. All dollar values are doubled. Top three answers on the board to this question. Name one of Elizabeth Taylor's husbands. Susan. Richard Burton. Richard Burton. Let me see Richard Burton. There it is. 156. You're going to play? Going to pass. We're going to play. Going to play? They're going to play it. Here we go. If it'd be the comeback of the year, Jim. One of Elizabeth Taylor's husbands. Uh, I'd say Eddie Fisher. Oh. Eddie Fisher. Let me see Eddie Fisher. Oh. $176. Oh. Comeback of the year now. 
one of Elizabeth Taylor's husbands, Vern. Is it Michael Wilding? Michael Wilding. No, no, no. She was married to him. Let's see if he's there. Uh, Not there. Okay, one strike. Here we go. Missing. Mike Todd. Mike he's gotta Todd. Be good. Oh. Mike Todd's there. You're gonna be the new winning family. Show me Mike Todd. <laughs> They came to play and play they did, yeah, right? I thought you were going to walk off with it again. You are going to walk off with our undying love and $11,454. Thank you, darling. Thank you, darling. Here we go, darling. We're going to play fast money. I need your two best players. Who will they be? I'm going to be one. Both come out here. Who will play first? First is easier. Bill's going to play. You go to the soundproof booth. Bill, come down here. We'll take a pause. Come back and play fast money. Chuck Woolery, naturally stoned, and you high in reality TV, Sunday nights at 9.30 on Game Show Network. Everybody Uno, everybody play. Cards are quickly flying every single way. Reverse it, color it, never gonna wanna stop. Everybody Uno, everybody play. You won't believe what Pizza Hut's got for you now. Hey, here's your pizza. With all dogs go to heaven, too. Dog meets dog, dog loses dog. I give it two paws up. I can eat curve. The DVD is yours to keep when you buy a large Pizza Hut pizza at regular price. Choose from four, count them four, comedy classics, and spend the night in Ha Ha Land. <laughs> wow, Mr. Mom with Martin Mole. Whatever happened to that guy? He got hungry. Pizza Hut pizza and a DVD on us. You only get it when you gather around the good stuff. Attention, dog owners. A recent survey found deadly heartworm disease in nearly a quarter million dogs nationwide. Just one bite from a mosquito-carrying heartworm larvae can transmit it to your dog. As larvae migrate to the heart and lungs, they grow, causing serious health problems. And if left untreated, could cause the death of your dog. The good news is heartworm is easily prevented with HeartGuard Plus, first choice of veterinarians everywhere. Dogs think Real Beef HeartGuard Plus chewables are a tasty treat, but actually they're a once-a-month lifesaver. Dogs love to take, owners prefer to give. To save $5 when you purchase HeartGuard Plus at your veterinarians and get a free heartworm information kit, call 1-800-715-5384 or log on to www.heartwormalert65.com now. Isn't your dog worth it? HeartGuard is well tolerated. All dogs should be tested for heartworm infection before starting a preventive program. Following the use of HeartGuard, digestive and neurological side effects have rarely been reported. For more information, contact your veterinarian. Survey says there's more feud on the way. Ray Combs hosts Family Feud next. Then take a trip to the winner's circle on the $100,000 pyramid, followed by Match Game. Well, they did it. You did it. It was fantastic. I thought you were going to be wiped out, but now we're going to play Fast Money. Okay, Great. Bill? Fantastic. Vern is in a soundproof booth. We're ready now, and I'll tell, me, I'll tell you how it works. I ask you five questions. You give me five answers in 15 seconds. Try and think of the most popular answers you can, because for every point that you score, we pay you $5, okay? Great. If between you, you and Vern can get 200 points, you get $5,000. All right? Yeah. I want you to get it. Sure you the time will start when I finish reading the very first question. Give me 15 seconds on the clock, please. 15 seconds. Thank you. Got to get a new battery for the clock. <laughs> Relax and good luck. Okay. Name something you do on a rainy afternoon at home. Uh, read. Name a high-paying occupation. Doctor. A city in Ohio. Cincinnati. Name a kind of cup. Uh, coffee cup. Name something sharp. A knife. That's five. That's it. Well done. That's the hard part, and the easy part is we turn around and we see how well you did with the survey, okay? I said, name something you do on a rainy afternoon at home. You said, read a book. Our survey said, 18. Okay, then I asked you to name a high-paying occupation. You said, a doctor. Our survey said, 38. <laughs> then I asked for a city in Ohio. 
you said Cincinnati. Our survey said 18. You got 74. Then I asked you to name a kind of cup. You said a coffee cup. Our survey said 23. And then I said, name something sharp. You said knife. Our survey said... You did fantastic. We join the family. Get old Vern out here. Oh, what good news for you, Vern. Come on. Stand there. Oh, good, good. Don't turn around. You're 62 points away from $5,000. Is that exciting? That's great. Yeah, did That's great. Gr That's the sort of partner I you need. That from him. All right. But going second is a little harder. The reason is I will give you the same questions that I gave Bill. You cannot duplicate his answers. If you do, you hear this sound. Isn't that nasty? That's terrible. I don't then want you to have to give me another answer, right? So because it's harder, we give you an extra five seconds to his 15 for a total of 20 seconds. Give me 20 seconds on the clock, please. Remind all our viewers at home the answers that Bill gave us. 62 points, and we're all rooting for you. Here we go. Name something you do on a rainy afternoon at home. Sit by a fire. Name a high-paying occupation. Lawyer. A city in Ohio. Columbus. Name a kind of cup. Teacup. Something sharp. Knife. Try again. Razor. A razor. That's five. He was the slowest man I answered. My heart stopped. Gonna turn around, and we come to the moment of truth, Vern. Bill did his part. We're going to see if you did yours. You need 62 points, and you're all going to be $5,000 richer. Name something you do on a rainy afternoon at home. We asked you. You said, sit by a fire. Our survey said, uh -oh. zero. Not a good start. Sleep was the number one answer. <laughs> then I asked you, name a high-paying occupation. You said, a lawyer, which I know you are. <laughs> Our Not survey said nine. Okay. You're 53 away from the big money. A, a doctor, by the way, was the number one answer for that. A city in Ohio. You said Columbus. Our survey said 10. Oh. Cleveland, wonderful downtown Cleveland. 43 points away from the money. Then I asked you to name a kind of cup. You said a teacup. Our survey said That was the number one answer, teacup. You're 18 points away from $5,000. Name something sharp. You said a razor. Our survey said... <laughs> but you got 196, and for every point, we give you $5 for the total of... They're not feeling sorry for themselves. You're going to meet another family. That's the good news, right? Good news. We'll be back here tomorrow. Won't you join us when we all meet on the family feud? We love you. So, what'd you think of that two-hour conference call? Brutal. Whoa, where'd you find that? Internet. How come you wear so much cologne? I don't like to shout. You'll be buzzing all week from Game Show Network Sunday Night Buzz. First is Lingo, then Chuck Woolery Naturally Stone, GSN's first reality show. Then comics go joke to joke on National Lampoon's Funny Money, plus special episodes of Celebrity Cram. Catch a buzz that'll last all week. Sunday Night Buzz, Sundays at 9, Eastern and Pacific. Broiling saves energy and reduces heat in the kitchen. Furnished by Miro. This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud, a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production.